Well, as the saying may go, what makes your body sad inevitably makes you sad. And this is kind of the conclusion that researchers came to, came to when observing the diet of about 70,000 women for about a four year period of time. They discovered the more processed or the more refined the foods itself, the greater the incidence of depression. And there's a direct correlation. The more they consumed, the more depression. Let's get right into the title of the study and go a little more into detail how the researchers discovered what they did discover. It goes as follows, I should say the title. Consuming highly refined carbohydrates increases risk of depression. Citation title. High glycemic index diet is a risk factor for depression analysis from the Women's Health Initiative published in the American Journal of Clinical Nutrition this August 2015. And the researchers started off the study this way. A diet high in refined carbohydrates may lead to an increased risk for a new onset depression in postmenopausal women, according to the study. They looked at the dietary glycemic index, the glycemic load, types of carbohydrates consumed, and depression in data for more than 70,000 postmenopausal women who participated in the study itself between 1994 and 1998. Now, this is where it gets a little interesting. It's more than just consuming high glycemic foods. It is how these refined foods or high glycemic foods or added sugars actually may contribute to the depression. Let's proceed forward. The investigators found that progressively higher dietary GI, glycemic index scores, and consumption of added sugars, meaning it doesn't have so much to do with the GI when it comes to just adding more sugar itself, or glycemic index, and refined grains, yeah, there's more ands, were associated with increased risk of depression in the postmenopausal women. Now, this is where it gets intriguing. Now, I'd love for them to do a little more research into why exactly this happens. Remember, this is primarily an observational study. As time moves on forward, they're going to have to do more clinical, double-blind, placebo-type studies, you know, the whole lineup, just to confirm. Refined foods such as white bread, white rice, and soda trigger hormonal response in the body to reduce the blood sugars. This response, this hormonal response, may be what exacerbates mood changes, fatigues, and other symptoms of depression. It says, ironically, so well, we'll back it up a little bit. So is that hormone, but not just the insulin itself, but maybe how it impacts the entire hormone system or endocrine system that can cause your mood basically become not so good. But inversely, this is what they also discovered, greater consumption of dietary fiber, whole grains, vegetables, and non-juice fruits was associated with decreased risk, which led the researchers to conclude this as literally like an intervention for diet depression. The, di the study suggests that dietary interventions could serve as treatments and preventative measures for depression itself. So when eating refined carbohydrates and things like that, it's more than just about body image or how you look or your waistline. It literally can impact how you feel about yourself. And that's really the most important thing involved here. It's about feeling good, especially about yourself. Again, I really do hope this helps. This is Ralph Turciano signing off once again, and thank you.